The success of some in America does not make us all poorer. It encourages our economy and helps us become better off. I believe in a merit society, as they envisioned it, one where education, hard work, risk-taking, dreaming, and maybe some good luck allows people to find success and build enterprises that employ and lift America. I think the president has an entirely different view. I think he's inspired by the European social welfare states. I'd like to defer my question to my friend Marco. Uh, is, is this the U.S. Senate here? What is this? <laughs> well, we're all in need, you know. So listen, I want to thank you very much for just mentioning the sole proprietors uh, and their need to be able to deduct their health insurance premium as a, as a business expense, which is a huge issue for us. But it goes far beyond uh, health care. I really believe you need to start saying self-employed because there are 23 million people in this country paying the self-employment tax, that 15.3 flat tax on our income, which is a killer. And really it needs to be cut in half because it's a form of that double taxation. If you want young people who are starting out in business, and I'm a farmer, I make my living as a farmer. If a farmer makes $35,000 in a year, he has to pay upfront $5,000 in self-employment tax before anything else. That drives people into the black market economy. You know that has to. It's an outrageous tax. So my question to you is, please, what else will you do for the self-employed? Because there are 110,000 self-employed people in this state and 23 million in this country, and that's from the Census Bureau. I didn't make that up. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, a, couple, a couple of thoughts. Um, I, I want to help small business, big business, middle-sized business. I want to make America, as I said, the most attractive place in the world for entrepreneurs and innovators. And, and so I, I, I think that our tax rates I'd like to bring down so they're competitive for employers with other nations. Right now, as I mentioned, we have the highest tax rate in the world. We're at 35% for small businesses and, and other nations with which we compete, largely in Europe, we're at 25%. I think that the rates ought to be uh, comparable. Number two, I think regulators ought to encourage you. I, I, if, I don't know which uh, business sector you're in, but Farm. most, far, farming. Well, I, I was just with some folks in the uh, in the uh, uh, as you know in Iowa, the central part of the country, and uh, and they were saying new labor regulations are telling you what what your kids are able to do on your farm, and they're putting in place such extraordinary regulations that people are wondering how can I even raise a family on a farm anymore? There are too many regulators and too many regulations. So one, I want to get regulations in, in, in check. I, I also want to make sure that your energy is, is freely available and more reasonably priced. I, I don't think it makes sense for us to be saying, for instance, that we're going to hold off on the Keystone Pipeline in Canada. I want to bring that to all of you. I mentioned what I do in healthcare, which is to get you the same deductibility that, that, that exists for a corporation, a larger corporation. And, uh, and with regards to the payroll tax, I'll take a look at that. I didn't realize you're paying that additional, uh, that double taxation, and uh, that's worth taking a look at. Uh, thanks to Richard here, who Mitt Romney called on, and then he handed the microphone to me. We did get to Mitt Romney tonight, and my brother does owe me two lobsters, and Mitt Romney uh, was excellent when he said that this uh, sole proprietor should be able to deduct their health insurance premiums as a business expense. But then, when asked about the self-employment tax of 15.3%, he said, frankly, I didn't even know that's what you were paying. 23 million Americans are paying the 15.3 flat tax on all their income, and a president who proclaims he's for small business does not even know that. How horrifying can that be? Thank you.